So we have quite a wide range of drones, ranging from small ones like the Mavic Pro to big ones like the Inspire 2, all the way up to uh, one called the M600 Pro, the Matrice, which can carry up to 15 kilograms of uh, whatever you like, gimbals, cameras, LiDAR equipment, surveying kit, whatever you like. Um, so today we're going to be using smaller drones such as the Mavic and the Inspire 2. Um, the Inspire 2 can film up to 6K and get some really cinematic images out of that. Um, this drone right here, the Mavic 2, can kind of withstand higher wind speeds because it's small and it doesn't get that about as much. Um, so depending on the wind speed, we're going to be using either Spire 2 or the Mavic Pro. Uh, so before you fly a drone, you've got to do your standard risk assessment, just like you would on any shoot. They've then got to get your permissions to fly in the specific area. Uh, this is what um, pilots need to, to take record of before they actually go to the planes. They need to know which runway we're using, 26 right. Mm -hmm. It's a right hand circuit so it goes round the air, airport that way. The QNH and QFE are the air pressures. So there's two, there's one for Manchester and one for us. So they need to know air pressures. Touch and goes are what the aircraft do if they're coming in, not landing, but just touching and taking straight off again. Uh, they're not permitted today because we water, we're slightly waterlogged because it's only grass runways. We have four runways, but if you remember, change of wind could go either direction, so there's eight runways in fact. People releasing balloons, um, flying, gliding, things like that, um, just to make sure you're not going to have a collision with any other drones or any other pilots. Um, then once you've checked the weather and made sure that you've got the correct missions to fly in that area, you're good to go. Tower drone, tower drone, clearing for takeoff. You control the drones by a flight controller. Um, these can be smaller for the smaller drones or bigger for the bigger drones. Usually you'll pop in um, a tablet or a phone or you can get something called a crystal sky which is a big monitor which basically uh, you connect to the internet, you connect to the drone, it logs all your flight paths, it logs your flight times um, and you can control it through there. Uh, on this particular drone you have a camera for filming and also a camera for seeing where the drone is going. So the camera could be facing that way, but you as the drone pilot could be facing that way. And that's all seen through the app, through the Crystal Sky or through the tablet. Awesome. Drone tower aircraft is grounded.